In the last section, we did a quick discussion of what a higher order component is and what purpose it serves. We also set up our boilerplate package. In this section, I want to talk a lot more about the application that we're going to build and exactly what type of higher order component we're going to make. Remember, there are many different types of higher order components, just about any different use or possibility you can think of. But in the application that we're going to build, we're going to make one that is going to probably be just about immediately useful to us. So I'm going to pull a diagram on the screen of the application that we're going to make. So the application that we're going to make is going to be kind of like a authentication type app where we have some home page, we have some protected resources page, which is currently being displayed, and we have a sign in or sign out button. Now we're not going to do true backend authentication here. When the user clicks on sign in or sign out, it's just going to toggle a Boolean flag in memory as to whether they are currently signed in or signed out. So just to be clear, we're not going to cover full on authentication here. This is more of a discussion about higher order components. So the higher order component that we're going to make is going to be a helper for handling authentication and protected routes. As you might imagine, if a user is not signed in and they're on the home page, Okay, everything's fine, that's good. But if they try to go to the resources page when they are not logged in, we should automatically redirect them back to the home page. So I have another diagram just to make that crystal clear. Let me pull it onto the screen. So here's the flow of the authentication higher order component that we're going to make. Again, it's a higher order component for the purpose of helping with authentication. So the flow is going to be if a user tries to visit a protected resources route, and we're going to define what a protected resource is. Uh, you know, we're going to say we're going to make a distinct component, and we're going to say if the user tries to navigate to this component, we're going to check whether or not they are logged in. If the user is logged in, yes, then we'll allow them access to that path, and then we'll let them see that component. If the user is not logged in, we're going to kick them back until back to the home screen until they are successfully logged into our application. So this is kind of the flow here that we're going to be mastering with our higher order component that we're going to create. So the last question we kind of need to answer here is, you know, okay, we're going to make this login flow, but exactly what is the higher order component doing? You know, what is its job? So I've got one more diagram to answer that question. Let me pull it on the screen. So here's the we're going to see similar diagrams over and over and over for higher order components. In our case, we're going to have a resource list component. It's going to be a component that is its sole job is to render or show some protected resource, some resource that the user must be logged in to see. So we're going to take the resource list component, we're going to combine it with a require auth higher order component. This is the one that we're going to write. This is the higher order component that we're going to create for this application. And the result will be, the result of these two files put together, or these two components put together, will be a composed or enhanced component that's always going to check the user's authentication status before the component renders. And if the user is not authenticated, it's going to kick them back to the home route or the login route. So this is the app that we're going to be making. Um, I think that it's a very practical example because if we uh, you know, start talking about authentication anytime soon, this is a component that we will certainly have to have around or some functionality that we're certainly going to have to have. If a user tries to go somewhere that they're not allowed in our application, we need to show them a login screen. We need to kind of kick them out of where they are and get them authenticated first, and then they can go back to where they were trying to go to. So let's get started with the implementation in the next section.